Welcome to Shekinah Live, a product of Shekinah International Ministries, where we are educated, we are empowered, we are enlightened by the word of our mouth, by renewing of our mind, so we can discover to recover. Remember, the mind that is renewed is already a renewed destiny. May your destiny be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Happy, happy last Sunday in the month of May. May is our month of great grace. So June will be our month of great, great, great grace in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. So I welcome you. I welcome you. And I'd like us to thank God, you know, for all those evil things that had happened, especially in the United States of America. Ten days ago, a 40-year-old went into... A, a, a store, juice, juice store, or, or grocery store rather, in Buffalo, New York, and he killed 10 innocent people. Same thing happened in the, in the, in the state of Texas, in the uh, elementary school. Innocent children were, with their lives were cut short. So we need to thank God for, for being alive. It could be anybody. Thank God for, for your life. Thank, thank him for the gift of life. Thank you, thank him for, for being sane. You are not insane. Thank him for protection. Let us thank him for, for, for provision. Let us thank him for preservation. Let, let us thank him for cleansing us. Let us thank him for the salvation of our soul. And as we do that, let us remember the parents of the innocent children. Let us remember them in prayers. Let us, let us thank God because we were not at the wrong place at the wrong time. We are always at the right place at the right time for God's right purpose. So God deserves our praises. God deserves our, our worship. God deserves our appreciation. So we want to say, Father, we thank you. Daddy, you are our healer. You are our deliverer. You are our tomorrow. You are our future. You were our yesterday, today. And you are our tomorrow. Our tomorrow is in your hands. Our children's tomorrow is in your hands. Our spouse's tomorrow is in your hands. Our siblings' tomorrow is in your hands. Our parents, some of us will still have parents. We have causes to give him glory, to glorify his holy name. If not for God, the stores that we went to, we went in, you know, save, and we came out stay, save. It could only be God, my brothers and sisters. Let us learn from all the happenings around us to know that if not for God, where would we have been? Daddy, we just want to thank you. Thank you for this broadcast. Thank you for the people that it will bless. Thank you for people that will share it. Thank you for the people that will hear it and run with it. Amen, somebody. My brothers and sisters, we have a lot to thank God for. He is our shame remover. He is our righteousness. He is our joy. He is our shield. He is our glory. He is the Lord who lifts us, uh, who lift our heads up. Daddy, we just want to thank you, and we pray that this type of killings, we want to, we want, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. And the same thing applies all over the world. People are crazy. May we not be victims in the name of Jesus. May our children not be victims of, uh, of, 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 of circumstances in the name of Jesus. So I welcome you, my brothers and sisters. I welcome you to what I quickly, what I title today as Stop Wallowing in Your, in your Past. Do not, do not continue to wallow in the pain of the past. Just thank God for everything. Like I said, the, for the gift of life. Your life does not belong to you. My life does not belong to me. Our life belongs to God. So let us thank Him. Let us thank Him as we are being healed, as we are getting healing for the pains of the past, for the hurts of the past, for the offenses of the past. There is healing in the house. God is the balm of Gilead. Have you been battered? 
Have you been, been beaten by somebody? Have you been jilted? Yes, let it go. Let's go and let God. Do you know what the, 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 the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 43? Let me quickly read it to you so I don't paraphrase it. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 43, 1 to 5. And it says, this is your Lord, the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Put it in your name. The Lord God of Adenike Princess, Pastor Akuridi. The Lord God of my children. The Lord God of my spouse. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is assuring you that he is your God. He says he created you. He says he formed you. He says, fear not, for he has redeemed you. He says he has called you by his name. He says you are his. Say it, oh, what an assurance. Hey, I'm, I am of the Lord. Therefore, I shall not have any fear. Therefore, I shall not be shaken. No shaking. Say it to yourself. <laughs> the Lord has called me by my name. He gave me, ah, that's why Sinaj uh, sang that song. I know who I am. I walk in favor. I walk in power. I walk in special and unique anointing. That is who you are. Amen. So God says, forget about the past. Let's forge ahead. Let's move on. Amen. It says, when you pass through the waters, he will be with you. Amen. He says, you will not be drowned. Even if you pass through rivers, you will not be, the rivers will not overflow thee. Hallelujah, somebody. He says, even if you walk through the fire, fire will not burn you. Say to yourself, I remain unshakable because God is with me. His hand is mighty upon me. And his hand will be mighty upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, I am your Lord, the only one of Israel. He's your Savior. He says he has given Egypt. He has given your enemies unto you. Trample, trample upon them. Trample upon them. Ah, you have a great inheritance. Amen. He said, you are precious in, in his sight. Say to yourself, oh, I am precious in the sight of God. Amen. He said, because you have been honorable. He says he has loved you and he continues to love you. Therefore, he will give men for you. Hey, this is what I call um, uh, uh, substitution. People will be substituted for you. Hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. He says, fear not, verse 5, that I am with thee. In the name of Jesus. God says, fear not. That is with you. So why are you, why, why, why are you, why are you wallowing in the pain of the past? Hey, Pastor Princess offended me. Oh. I don't want to talk to her again. Hey, uh, brother, brother, brother Gwenga offended me. How, how many times do you want to count offenses? My brothers and sisters, we have a long way to go. <laughs> ah. There are mountains to level. <laughs> there are exploits that God is waiting for us to do. Hmm. So we need to heal. We need to seek the power in forgiveness. And get healing for reconciliation. May you find healing today from any scar, from any wound, from any offense of the past in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether big or small, God will heal you. And may you find a greater measure of abundant life as a result of God's presence in your life, as a result of the fact that you are his chosen, be as a result, as a result of, the, of, of the promises he has given unto you. On Isaiah 43, 1 to 5 or 1 to 6. Amen. So we have all experienced trials, pain, struggles. Some of us are living, living legends, legends of wounds and pains. But we learn to deal with them, one after the other. Is he being jilted by your lover? Is he being, being, or maybe your marriage is crumbling? Or you lost your job unexpectedly? We have been there. But God has healed us. And I pray you'll be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will press forward. You will press on, just like Apostle Paul said, that I keep on pressing on. I, I left the, the pain of my past. Every bad thing that I did in the past, I, I forgot about them. I'm just looking on to Jesus. Is anybody under the sound of my voice tonight? Will you just be looking on to Jesus, the author and the only finisher of your life? 
can you just look unto him? Say, Jesus, I'm looking unto you. Jehovah, I love you. Because he says it in this uh, scripture, that I have first loved you. Amen, somebody. So, let us receive healing and move on. Though the realities of, you know, breaking, heartbroken can change us or can break us. Refuse to be broken, though. Refuse to be broken. Show the enemies that you can move on. That you can achieve that which the enemy think you will not achieve. Let the enemies know that you have a, 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 a mountains to climb. You have glorious future. My brothers and sisters, don't hold on too much. Don't hold on too long for the pain of the past. Okay? So, let's, let's, let's turn around. Let all our disappointment become appointments in the name of Jesus. And our sorrow will turn to what? Joy unspeakable and joy immeasurable. Okay? So, as Christians, let us know that God is working behind the scene for us. See? He says he will not forsake you. He says he will not leave you hanging. Oh, yes, Lord. Huh? The Lord is looking to have mercy on you, my brothers and sisters. The Lord is waiting to, to wash away that sorrow. He's waiting for you. Just submit unto him. Yes, he's willing to have mercy on you. Huh? Call on Jesus. He will have mercy on you. He will heal you of your past. And he will give you the, your beautiful future. Amen? Glorious future awaits you, my brothers and sisters. Ah. I'm sorry for my sin. Ah, Lord, have mercy on me. Ah, help me, help me, help me to forget the pain of the past. Help me, Jehovah. Lay your mighty hands on me. Ah. Oluwa shanufuwa. Jesu me shanufuwa. Hallelujah. God is willing to shanufuwa. My brothers and sisters, you have just one life to live. Okay? You know... John 10, 10 says, God says he has come to give you joy and abundant life. And that will be your portion in the name of Jesus. So is there anyone under the sound of my voice? You have not given your life to Christ? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I bring Jesus to you. Eh? He says he will have mercy on you. Amen, somebody. We're sorry for, for, for our past, almighty God. We make you our Lord and our Savior. We will not go back to our vomit. We will not going to we will not go to join any alert any longer. Our life is for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. My brothers and sisters. Ah. As I round up tonight, if you have not given your life to Christ, Christ is beckoning unto you. He says, My daughter, come. My son, come to me. No matter how bad your sin may be, I'm ready to wash you clean. I have given my blood unto you. Can you pray this prayer with me, my brothers and sisters, that Lord, I have come to you. I have come for cleansing. I have come for the salvation of my soul. Cleanse me, almighty God. I make you my Lord and my Savior. I run away from every form of sin. Forever I will be with you. In Jesus' name we pray. My brothers, if you have prayed this prayer with me, look for a Bible-believing church, learn about the rubrics of the Bible, and the Almighty God will guide you, and he will bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Princess Adenike Akwede Olawi, Shekana Life. God bless you. Amen. You will not cast us away in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. God bless you all. See you next week. Be renewed. Jesus' name, amen.